Question 23. There are 25 children in the lunch queue, including Nick. Nick says there are twice as many children in front of me as there are behind me. How many children are in front of Nick? Well, the trick to this one is realising that Nick is only looking at the children in front of him and behind him. He's not looking at himself. So if he's not looking at himself and we don't include himself in the 25 children, the total of the children in front and behind him must actually be 24 children when we take Nick out of it. Now the next hint that we need to think about is that if we think about the amount of children in front and behind, this clue tells us that there are twice as many children in front of me as there are behind me. So for every one child there is behind him, there are going to be two children in front of him, because it says twice as many. So this is actually a ratio. So the ratio of children in front of him to behind him is two to one. So what we're actually doing here is we're trying to divide 24 children or share shared 24 children in the ratio of 2 to 1. And if we can do this, if we can share 24 children in the ratio of 2 to 1, we will have our answers. So the question is, how do we share in a ratio? Well, there are four steps to remember. Step number one, and I'm going to give you a silly sentence. So step number one is always. Step number two is drive. Step number three is mini. And step number four is keepers. Now, why have we given that silly sentence? Well, the first letter of each word helps us figure out what we've got to do. The A stands for a bit of adding. The D stands for a bit of dividing. The M stands for a bit of multiplying. And the C in keepers stands for a check. What we've actually got to do will become clear in a moment. So step number one, we've got to add the parts. Well, we've got two parts to one parts in the ratio. So step number one is to do two parts plus one part, and that equals three parts. And that's step number one done. Step number two talks about a bit of dividing. Well, we've got to divide the total. What's the logical thing to divide by? Well, we've got a total of 24 children and we've got three parts in the ratio. So we need to do 24, which is the total, divided by three parts. And if we split 24 children into three parts, we're going to get eight children. So each of the three parts contains eight children, and that's going to be crucial. In step three, the M stands for multiply, and this is where we multiply the ratio. Now we know that each part has got eight children. We've got to go back to the ratio and multiply this, each part in the ratio, by eight. So two parts multiplied by eight is going to be 16 children and the amount of children behind is one part which is also multiplied by 8 to 1 times 8 is 8 children and your answers appear at the end of the arrows so this means that there are 16 children in front of Nick and there are 8 children behind him so the very final answer that we need to write in the answer box, it does ask us how many children are in front of Nick, and the final answer is 16. Before we move on, we haven't actually talked about step number four. Step number four is called check. And that's where we check that the two answers that we got, which was 16 children and 8 children, actually add up to what we started with. Well, we did start with 24 children, which is there. So 16 and 8 makes 24 children, plus Nick, and that makes the 25 children that we started with right at the beginning of the question. A quick recap. 
Step one, always add the parts. So two plus one is three parts. Step two, divide the total. The total is 24 children. Divide by three parts is eight children. Step three is multiply the ratio by this eight children. Two lots of eight is 16 children, which is our answer there. One lot of eight is eight children. And step four is to check. 16 children and 8 children makes the 24 children. So everything seems to fit in. A quick check of the sentence. There are twice as many children in front as there are behind. Does this fit in? 16 in front, 8 behind. Is 16 twice as many as 8? Yes, it is. So everything seems to fit in quite nicely.